Salutations, my name is Summer, and this is Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats. And I want to talk about what I've read, what I've finished, and what I'm currently reading. And this is, I keep thinking it's, May, it's June 1st, but it's not, it's the 31st. Um, I should know that. My sister's birthday is June 1st. Okay, so I finished Cold Comfort Farm by Stella Gibbons, and this was a buddy read with Mark over at Book Time with Elvis. I absolutely loved our buddy read, the book. <laughs> oh, the book, I just don't know, guys. Um, I've had many of you comment about how much you loved it and how funny it was. And there were moments I really laughed out loud. So I, I get that some of it was really funny, but man, this is a weird book. Uh, it's about Flora and she ends up I don't remember if it's cousins or what. She ends up going to Cold Comfort Farm, which is like a family farm. There's a mystery you never find out, which Mark uh, had to say he was upset about also. And then he said something about it was a series. Guys, I am not continuing on <laughs> with the next book. And Mark, if you do, please just let me know what I want to know, because you know what I want to know. Uh, there's Rolo. Please excuse the mess. Um, and hopefully we'll have more come down and visit. Uh, I think Cricket's asleep, so I hear somebody else coming down. Uh, but she was asleep upstairs. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's about Flora going to a uh, cold comfort farm. And it's just so strange. At first it was felt, I didn't like it at all at first. And if I wasn't reading this, it's Cricket because I heard sneezing. If I wasn't reading this with Mark, I would have set it aside or DNF'd it or something. But I'm glad that I didn't. Um, yeah, there's Cricket. I'm glad that I didn't because I ended up enjoying it for the most part. The end, not so much, but the middle, I really enjoyed. So, and I, I love getting to know Mark better. So, there's that. Uh, I DNF'd 84 Charing Cross Road by Helene Hoff, and I read this with Jackie. So if you ever see Jackie Lou's book queue in your comments down below, uh, that's who I'm talking about. And she was nice enough <laughs> not to give me a hard time about DNFing this. And I, I love talking to uh, Jackie and doing buddy reads with her. So guys, this is a book I should have loved. And I just didn't. And I got, it's like so short. I got halfway through and I just did not care. Once someone died, I'm not going to ruin it for you, those of you who haven't read it, but once someone died, I just didn't care. And I didn't like Helene. <laughs> I know that sounds so horrible, but most of the time I didn't like her just because, I mean, she just rubbed me the wrong way with how she was and I know that sounds so negative, guys. It just wasn't the book for me. A book I loved was uh, Irresistible Revolution by Shane Claiborne. This book was beautiful. Shane Claiborne tries to live his life like how he believes Jesus would to a certain extent. Um, he talks about his travels to uh, see Mother Teresa and help work with her. And for the, I think for the summer he went there and he's just a, a very loving person. Um, and I, he makes me think about, you know, the world is a certain way and he'll say, but what if the world was this way? And what if we treated each other, this people treated each other this way, how, how different the world would be. And He's trying to make changes, and he's very inspirational. I, I loved it. The last thing that I finished was The Institute by Stephen King. I am a huge Stephen King fan, guys, and I know some of his books are hit and miss, but I get something from every single book. I've been reading him since I was a teenager. I'm now in my 40s, and, um, and I haven't read all of them. There's still a few that I haven't, you know, maybe a dozen I haven't read yet. Um, but I really enjoy this. It's about, I'm just going to tell you what you guys already probably know. It's about a boy who is gifted 
Uh, he's supposedly a genius, but he can also do certain special things. Poor little cricket. So sneezy, so sneezy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so he is special. He is kidnapped and taken to this institute. And that's all I'm going to say. I, it's very suspenseful. I only have one complaint, and it's a little complaint. But the main character, I want to say he was around 10 to 12. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay, little one? She's trying to eat, and she just... And she just woke up. Anyway, uh, the boy, he's so young, and I kept forgetting how young he was because he's just so mature for his age. And I thought, well, he's been thrown into a lot. Uh, maybe that's it, but I don't know, guys. That's I, I just couldn't quite buy how mature he is. And I also dislike it when kids cuss. And I know that sounds silly because of the situation that he's in. I would be cussing too. But I don't know, when kids cuss, it's always, I'm always kind of like, it's like seeing kids smoke, which, you know, I was really young when I started smoking and I quit when I turned 30. So it's been 12 years since I quit. But to see, to see kids behave how I did when I was that age, now that I know better, it's just like, oh no. Anyway, I, I love Stephen King. I kind of feel like he can do no wrong, even if there's things about in the book that it's like, ah, uh, I still love him. So there's that. So uh, I am co-hosting in a readathon this year, yeah, this June called Pastoral June, and it's with Angie of Literary Labors. I will link her channel down below, and our group read is Lark Rise to Candleford. I don't know the lighting. Sorry, guys. It just looks like a white book. This is actually a gorgeous book. Um, but yeah, and I thought it was June 1st when I woke up this morning, so I started it. <laughs> I'm only in chapter one, but I love it. There is a, it's exactly what I need. Exactly what I need, guys. I need that slow, oh, beautiful writing, country setting, um, tight-knit community, families. That's what I need right now. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in joining us, you can just let me know down below. We have a Voxer chat group. I can add you to it, or you can go to Angie's channel, which I will have linked down below, and she can, either one of us can um, add you to the group. We haven't started, I mean, it starts tomorrow. So we nobody has started talking about it yet that I know of. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm very excited about this. And I am doing a buddy read with Elizabeth over at Lizzie Fay Loves Books or Lizzie Fay Re Lizzie Fay Reads Books. I think it's Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'll link her channel down below. We are reading Greenwood by Michael Christie. I'm not quite halfway through. This book is fantastic. I don't know. We haven't, I haven't talked to Elizabeth yet about it, so I don't want to say much, but this is something that she pointed out, which, you know, then I, I saw, but there's a timeline. You start out with this woman and it's 2037. So we're, it's futuristic, you know, time, uh, how we deal with natural resources and all that jazz. And then we go down to 2008 and then 1974, 1934, 1908, back to 1934, 1974, 2008, and we end at 2038. I love that because we're learning her family tree that she doesn't even know. Um, so, yeah, and it, it deals with nature and trees and, um, oh, it's, it's just it's so interesting. The writing I'm loving I'm loving the characters, even characters that are like bad guy characters. I still feel like they're so important to the story. Like it's just so well written. Um, but yeah, I don't want to say anything about it until I've said it to Elizabeth. <laughs> you know how that goes with Buddy Reads. Um, and so the last thing uh, that, well, there's one more thing I want to talk about after this, but yeah, I started Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. I'm not quite halfway, 
these books are gorgeous, guys. I mean, just absolutely. I love, I love how all the chapters are. They're full of pictures, just all different, all different kinds of pictures. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful. The prints are good, great. The prints are great size. And it's, this, so this is the fourth novel. There's two novellas. I read Edge Dancer, but I haven't read the other one. So I need to get the other one from the library because I own all these, but I don't own Edge Dancer. And um, I can't remember the, the name. I'll go on Goodreads and find it though and order it from the library after I read this. So that way I'll have read everything from Stormlight until the next one comes out. I love this series. I love the characters, even though we haven't seen my favorite character in here yet. So what's that about, Brandon Sanderson? Anyway, it's, uh, it's wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is Reading Europe 2021. So Mark over at Book Time with Elvis, he is doing a readathon <laughs> for June to July. And I will link his channel. His channel will already be linked down below because I'm, we did our buddy read together. But uh, I want you to check out his uh, read-along, read-a-thon. Sorry. Um, I always get those interwined. It's fantastic. I am not a sports fan, but I guess every four years, all the European countries get together, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Soccer, football. I don't know, guys. I don't watch any sports. And I told, it was so funny because I said, oh, well, you know, this is the, just the first year. Maybe next year people will know about it. Next year will be huge. There'll be so many people. And he was like, um, Summer, it's only every four years. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, my name, I got uh, the Netherlands. So from the library, I ordered a book. And as soon as it comes in, I will be reading it called Why the Dutch Are Different, A Journey into the Hidden Heart of the Netherlands by Ben Coates. So if the Netherlands, they're against Ukraine, if they win, I don't have to read a Ukraine book if I don't want to. I mean, I can if I want to. But um, so yeah, uh, we will wait and see to see if they win or not. If they, if the Netherlands loses, I have to read a book by Ukraine. So that's how it all sets up. You are, he picks out a, a country for you that you read a book about that country or by someone who is from that country or however, as long as it's incorporated in there somewhere. And uh, yeah, so I told him, I said, Mark, you gotta let me know if my team wins or not because I don't follow any of that stuff. And he said he would. And, but I did look them up and they, if I looked at the right team, they had orange uniforms, and orange is my favorite color, so I kind of feel like it's it's meant to be. So anyway, uh, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing for June. There's so many different buddy reads and read-alongs and all that stuff going on. So yeah, uh, I, there was like Golden Girl read-alongs, so or whatever read-a-thon. It's, uh, it's been interesting seeing what everybody's doing. So yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts about any of these books and if you're in any different type of read-alongs, read-a-thons, I'd be interested to know. I hope everybody has a, a great week and that their the month of June starts out wonderful for all you guys. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye.